Hi, so it's planting season now here in South Florida. So if you want to have a look at my raised beds, I started about a month ago with a couple of things, uh, just from, from seed, little seedlings. This is my yellow squash plant, and I planted this on August 30th, just from a seed, and then I transplanted it after about two weeks. It was in a little kind of jiffy pot like this. I did measure out my bed um, like as a square foot method. I didn't, I didn't grid this one out, but I'll show you my next bed when I get there. I am going to grid this out soon though. And over here I have a, just a regular bell pepper plant. I'm going to put that in here. And I planted two kale plants that look pretty good. I planted a bunch of different lettuces here. Not everything sprouted. I'm not sure if it's because of all the rain we've had. I don't know if the seeds just didn't get a chance, but I might replant them next week, I believe. But this is butter crunch lettuce. I did have four per square foot. And this was a black seeded Simpson, but nothing, nothing sprouted yet. And I think it's been about three weeks now since I put the seeds in. I saved this space like a two square foot area. I was thinking about putting a Black Beauty eggplant. I'll see how it goes. I might want to put maybe another bell pepper plant. And I was thinking of, someone gave me a poblano pepper seed. Um, I might be putting the poblano in this area too. So another bell pepper and poblano. And I have a mammoth dill. And there's two cucumber plants here. I planted them six inches apart. And then I just staked it. I made a little quick trellis on the end and also some string for it to climb. This one I had to string up kind of with the, how we strung up the tomato plants. If you look at the Gray Mockingbird Project video, stringing up tomato plants. I did this one the same way because this one wanted to crawl. So I had to kind of help it to climb this way up. And then I'm going to add some more of these little, these little kind of, I don't know, step things as it gets taller. And this one climbed up on its own. And if we come over here to my other bed. Oh wait, sorry about that. And I have some Swiss chard here. I have four Swiss chard plants. They're doing okay. They're get they're I'm gonna be uh giving them a little seaweed fertilizer today. And you know, but they're they're coming along pretty good. And that's my nasturtium, cherry nasturtium. And I did plant marigolds along the side and that hasn't sprouted yet either. It's been about three weeks, so I'm going to probably have to replant that too. So that's bed one, and over here on bed two, I did do a grid. It's two and a half feet wide, so that's why this area looks a little bit skinnier. These are uh, square foot blocks, and this is just kind of half of that, six inches. And this is, I'm going to be putting some root vegetables in here, so a different variety of beets, carrots, turnips and rutabaga. I'm going to be planting those today. And on these little side plots, I'm going to be putting uh, celery, tall Utah celery. I'm going to just try four out. I haven't, I'll just see how the celery does over here. I don't know if it's going to be too hot. And then this is a calabasa pumpkin on this end. And that's, that's been going pretty good. I think it's going to get, I was told up to 40 feet long so I'm going to have it kind of, I'm going to train it to go around my two beds and then through the middle. I do have one tomato plant seedling but I'm going to, and this I planted, all of these I planted. I'm just trying these jiffy pots out this season and um, I'm probably just going to put the um, tomato plant in a separate pot on the side and put a stake and just do a little single stem. And then I also did plant in these jiffy pots some culantro and cilantro. And then I have a dark green zucchini. I'm going to put this in a pot because I don't have any, they take up so much room. I don't have any more in, in either of my beds. And this is the rosemary plant from last year, last season. It took a while to grow. So I had to take it out of the side plot it was in. Well, someone at the garden took it out for me. And it's, it's been doing really good. It looks really healthy. And I'll stay tuned for another update uh, to see how, how these, the garden's progressing. Thank you for watching.